and so i'll give a charge briefly on the subject the power of thanksgiving four things i wanted us to understand very quickly on thanksgiving first of all thanksgiving establishes the goodness of the lord it's a good thing to give thanks you want to see the goodness of the lord in your life look for something irrespective of whatever the situation is to give thanks to god about second thanksgiving secures miracles already performed by god those things that god already did you secure them with thanksgiving in luke 17 from verse 10 when the lepers were healed one returned to secure that miracle that was done thanksgiving secures miracles already done by god the servant returned thirdly thanksgiving perfects what god has done it doesn't only secure it perfects secure means that what god has done you can guarantee his continuity by thanksgiving but perfect means that what god has done can be completed the process can be completed by thanksgiving in luke chapter 17 the testimonies of the lepers began in verse 11 but in verse 17 jesus said answering said where were they are not ten cleansed but where are the nine and there is not found anyone who returned to give glory except this stranger and he said unto him arise go your way your faith has made you whole that is the man was already healed but he was made whole as he came to give thanks thanks will establish god's goodness it will secure miracles already done it will perfect what god has done and finally number four thanksgiving fast tracks miracles that are expected when you give god thanks it fast forwards the process he hasn't done it yet yet you say thank you he makes him to do it in a hurry that was what happened in john chapter 6 verse 10 verse 11 and 12 with the miracle of the multiplication of the five loaves and two fishes he gave thanks even when the loaves were still five then it multiplied hallelujah so we are here this morning to say to god we are grateful grateful for the gift of life despite the epidemic that we are seeing and encountering all around the, the world we are grateful for the restraining force of god especially in our nation today like i have said with the level of medical facility we have we, we, we have seen some places around the world where they say that people should just remain at home if you are sick no matter how sick you are no need to go to any hospital because the hospital has no space for anybody anymore mortuaries are filled god forbid but despite that kind of setting you still find yourself moving about or still find yourself alive and well we give god thanks for that and we believe that the whole end of this corona situation has come in the name of Jesus.